Hello and welcome to another edition of Reef Automation Tutorials for Neptune Systems. My name is Derek and today I'm going to go over how to program virtual outlets. Virtual outlets can be used for a number of different things. Primarily you use them when you have something that you want to happen that is not currently happening with just a standard outlet. Um, and I'm going to go through some basic examples on how to do them. So let's begin. Now, on a newer Apex, you're going to go up to the Outlet but, uh, button or tab right here. You're going to go over to Add Virtual Outlet. We're going to just call it something uh, for this tutorial. We'll call it uh, V Outlet. Say OK. And now we have a V Outlet. Now, if you want to find your virtual outlets, there's two ways to do it. You can go to the Show Delete column, and that will show you with these little X's which ones are virtual. You can see I have quite a bit of them. And you'll see we have tutorials over here. We have a couple other virtual outlets that I have made in the past. So we're going to go back to over here. Once you've created a virtual outlet, you're going to get the new tile to pop up. And if we go to the end here, we'll see that we have a new outlet called V Outlet. Okay? And that's the virtual outlet that we're going to work with. Now, if you have an older Apex, an Apex Classic or an Apex Junior, it's a little more tricky. Uh, to or in order to make virtual outlets, you need to actually go to the controller, not the Fusion tab, and you need to then go to Miscellaneous Setup or Modules, and then you're going to go down to the bottom where it says Add Outlet, and you're going to click on either Lunar Simulator is usually what I would recommend if you're just creating one outlet. There's also an eight outlet mode where it'll create eight virtual outlets at once. That's also where you will delete the virtual outlets. So on a classic, it's a little more tricky. I don't have a classic, so I won't be able to physically show you. But this is how you create your first virtual outlet. So you've already labeled the virtual outlet, but of course, if you want to label it or relabel it, you can relabel it here. Any virtual outlet is going to start with a CNTL. That's how you know it's a virtual outlet. It will also tell you the location that a virtual outlet is simulated and is not real. So for instance, um, how I use virtual outlets is all of these are virtual outlets, reef maintenance, reef pick, reef uh, office maintenance, fish office, all these are different virtual outlets. If I go into them, you'll see there's not a lot of programming in them. They're usually off. And then what I will do is if I want to have a maintenance mode, for instance, I will go down to my pump and I will refer to that virtual outlet. So if outlet reef maintenance is on, then I want you to turn off my pump, which means if I was to manually turn on my reef maintenance virtual outlet, this would allow me to then turn off anything I want in the system via the virtual outlet. Another reason that you'd use a virtual outlet is specifically for alarms, and I get this question quite a bit. So let's say you have a specific device that you want to know that it has occur or that it has alerted you, but you only want it to alert you during a certain period of time of the day and not in the middle of the night. That's a perfect use of a virtual outlet. So for instance, if I want to know uh, when my skimmer is full, I have a switch in my skimmer outlet uh, or in my skimmer cup. So if and I believe it's called Reef Cup, I believe I called it. So if Reef Cup is closed, then on. Now what this will mean is that when my Reef Cup has filled with um, skimmate, I want it to alert me via the virtual outlet. However, I only want it to alert me during certain periods of time of the day. So between, let's say midnight and 8 a.m., I want this to be off. So it'll always be on when this is closed, and then if time is 0 to 8 o'clock in the morning, it'll be off. Once 8 o'clock hits, I then want it to alert me if the cup is full. So I'll say if, let's say, 8 o'clock to, I don't know, maybe a minute long, So we'll go eight minute later to let's say 9 p.m. 
And then let's say at 9 p.m., I want it to then alert me. So what this will do is between the times of 0 to 8 a.m., this outlet, this virtual outlet, is off. It is also off between 8.01 and 9 o'clock. It is also off, and then it is also off between 21.01 and midnight. So it's only on between 8 o'clock and 8.01 and 9 o'clock and 9.01. And it's only on if the cup is closed and on. So now I have this virtual outlet that only comes on at specific times of the day. See that? So we're going to save that. I don't know, my Apex is going a little slow today, but we'll save that, and it's called V Outlet. So we won't save it because it's uh, acting up on me today. But we're going to go back to here, and we remember we enabled it V Outlet. We'll go over to our email. And instead of us putting the cup, so for instance, normally we would put if our cup is closed, then on. Instead of doing that, we're going to say if output v outlet is on, then on. That means that the alert or the email or the alarm is only going to be on during those specific times that you dedicated the v outlet into the alarm uh, section here. So that's a really good use for a virtual outlet. Um, if you wanted something during a certain time to be activated and you don't want it to be activated all day long, only during certain days, times you want to be alerted. So for instance, I already have this set up in my system and I will show you where that is. Uh, skimmer full. So I have two skimmers. I have one on my larger tank and one on my smaller tank. And I have basically what I just showed you. I have my fish cup or my 300-gallon cup and my reef cup. If either one of those are on, only during five points of the day do I want this to alert me to tell me that my skimmer is full. I don't want it to alert me all day long. So that's why I use a virtual outlet. Another reason I use a virtual outlet is my leak. So instead of me typing a bunch of leak sensors in my alarm, all I have is something called Leak Reef, and there's all my leak sensors there. And when this is on, when Leak Reef is on, I want you to alert me. So this way I don't have to type all the leak sensors, and let's say I was to add a leak sensor at any point in time, instead of me having to go into my email alarms, I just go into my virtual outlet and add them there. I'll show you another virtual outlet I have. So I have my um, reef feed virtual outlet, which is tied to a button. So if I click on here, I have a button. And when I hit that button, I want you to turn on the feed mode for a certain period of time, but then don't turn it off for 15 minutes. And then I can associate any one of my outlets to the reef feed. Let's see if I have some other ones I can show you. Um, here's another one for my elements. So I have um, an elements low. This tells me that one of my containers, either my alkalinity calcium or magnesium, is low. But I only want you to alert me during certain periods of the day. Instead of having it alert me every 30 minutes or every hour, this will alert me every couple hours. And it'll tell me specifically which one... I need to uh, take a look at either my alkalinity is low, my magnesium, or calcium is low. Well, that's another virtual outlet that I use. Um, a really good virtual outlet I have is the RO status virtual outlet. And what's nice about this virtual outlet is this indicates when my reservoirs have uh, filled with water to the top. Once the reservoirs have hit the top, which is my high sensor, I want you to tell me, hey, they hit the top. And now maybe I got to put salt in there. Or if you're using Kalkwasser, maybe you got to put Kalkwasser into your reservoir. So this is really neat because the RO status will turn on 
only when it gets to the high sensor. And then once I've done what I need to do, I just go over here and I turn off the status until I need to turn it back on, which would mean that the water level has decreased. So that's another really interesting way to use um, virtual outlets. So if you have any questions or you have a specific program that you need to ha be helped on with virtual outlets, just leave a comment in below and I'll try to get to it. Um, but that's just the basics of how to use virtual outlets. Um, there's a lot of stuff you can do with them. Um, but uh, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to be notified as I do videos uh, about every couple weeks and then we do live streams every weekend where I give away free things. Um, so thank you for watching and again like the channel if you liked the video and hope to talk to you later.